Hello, my name is Katrina Law. I play Mira on Spartacus. Hey guys, Ellen Holman here, and I play Saxa on Spartacus. A show could be could be a hit first season and not second season. It could not be a hit the first season and then a big a big hit the second season. Um, so you have to take it as a gift and not take that for granted. And the fact that it is, it was five years ago and we all still mm -hmm. love each other. <laughs> we all still, <laughs> like we've all been hanging out nonstop since we got here. And this isn't even act, we actually like each other. But, uh, Somebody's paying me. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> what? Huh? What? Yeah. I think after season one, we knew it was going to be, a hit. well, it was a hit. So that was, I think, surprising for a lot of the cast members because, you know, you sign up for a show, you don't know what you're getting yourself into because there's so many moving parts that go into it. So actors can ruin a show, writing can ruin a show, editing can ruin a show. There's so many things along the way. Marketing can ruin a show. You, you know, you'd have a bad time slot, all of these things. And for Spartacus, everything just kept lining up and getting better and better and better. And one of the best things about it is we had an amazing cast and like Ellen said, we all still hang out and we're all really good friends and I think that really translates to people because they see us online interacting and um, it's genuine interaction and I think that makes people just love our characters and the show even more knowing that we formed a family now. They right. feel like they're part of this family and they are. So we've had a lot of the Spartacus fans in our lives now since what, 2010 right. yeah. for me and then you 2011 so it's, it's, it's watching them grow. We do, and they, yeah, a lot of them are like, oh, my husband and I did this, or like, my son just turned, did it, can you wish yeah. him a happy, it's, it's a really interesting thing, so I, I think it's a little surprising, but at the same time, it just feels right that this would continue on the way yeah, it is. Yeah, there's an ease to it. It's yeah. not like, oh my god, this, the, people are still interested in it. It's, it was a fascinating piece of material, it was a fas fascinating show, and it's still, I mean, it's at the stage for a lot of shows going forward, which, in, at least in my opinion that you guys have set the stage for intimacy because there's so many conventions out there that almost feel like you're on a, on a conveyor belt. You just sort of quick meet and greet, signing perhaps a panel and then you move on and there's so many other yeah. people there but the fact that this is specifically for Spartacus and you guys create little little Q&As and, and uh, just recurring events from year to Little year. Little pockets where fans right. get to actually interact with us and we get to have conversations, like real conversations about what we're doing in our lives, what they're doing in theirs. And it's keeping the humanity. They've been they've done a great job of, of keeping the humanity, which a lot of times can be lost with these. So I think that's how it's managed to go on as long as it as long as it has. And for something like PeopleCon, um, I think the beauty of it is the fans get to become part of our family and it's vice versa for yeah. us because we come back here and all of like for instance today it's like who's been here since the first convention and pretty much half the crowd raised their hands and you recognize them and you right. remember their stories and so you're not with strangers anymore so that it becomes this ease of like oh we don't have to go back and start from the beginning we can just actually kind of catch up where we left off and you don't get that at most conventions and I think it's a really beautiful thing so not only are we welcoming them into our Spartacus family, but now they welcomed us into their actual lives. So it's just become this little yeah. symbiotic relationship. It's, it's appreciation. It's appreciation and, and, and piggybacking on what, what Kat was just saying. It's a, saying thank you for allowing us to be part of your life, just vice versa. It's, um, it takes a lot for, for two strangers to come together when you have an impression of somebody on screen, granted, granted I, I don't decapitate Romans and yell things in German on a daily basis. So the, <laughs> sometimes. But also the language barrier. Yes, the language barrier and the fact that they've come from, from different countries. They've traveled all around the world to be here and to be open with us is what allows us to be open with them and create that relationship. So I, it's just a big fat thank you for yeah. allowing us to be here. So big thank you for being a part of our lives and being amazing people and just being great fans and making us feel really good. And we look forward in, yeah, to it. It's something when, to look forward to. When we to. found out we were coming back this year, we've been counting down yeah. for months and days. We're going to Paris again, we're going to do all the stuff, the convention's always fun, it's an easy convention, it's mm -hmm. chill. And that's that's hard to come by. So yeah, thank you. 
Just thank you.